to sausage. The first thing that we want to make sure that our equipment is nice and chilled, and then make sure that it's properly assembled. The elbow needs to be aligned with the proper grinder, and then making sure that it's tight so it won't come off during the grinding process. Then we're going to add the auger, make sure that the auger is placed correctly Music bed. and it fits snugly into the elbow. Then we're going to do progressive grinding, which is going to the large dial, then grinding to a medium dial, and then grinding into a small dial. But now we're going to put the blade, and the blade's got to be looking Music outwards. Once we put the blade, we're going to put the large dial. We want to make sure that the knob is aligned with our elbow. And then we're going to add the two. We're going to put the twist. Twist are really nice to secure everything in place. We're going to put our tray on top and we're ready to add our meat. We want to make sure that our meat is nicely cool at least 30 degrees, and it has 80% fat, 80% meat and 20% fat. Here we're grinding the meat to a medium dial. And once we finish grinding to a medium dial, we're gonna go into a fine dial. This is what we call progressive grinding. After this, we are going to start emulsifying our sausage by incorporating our ice water into our mixture until it's nice and tacky. Then we're gonna take the salt out of our casing by filling them up with water and cold water, and then rinse them out, all the water out of it before we put it into the stuffer. Then we're gonna add our casing into the stuffer and making sure that we align this the casings in the stove so it doesn't break apart. Once we have done that, we're going to start our casing process and we are going to make sure that we don't overstuff our casing as this might explode. We want to make sure that there is a nice, even thickness to our. And then once we achieve that, we're going to take our puncher and punch all the air pockets that are in the casing with the force meat. Finally, we're going to tie one end and we're going to start twisting our casings. It's very important that when we twist our casing, we twist one uh, sausage link forward and then one sausage link backwards. That way it will not come undone during the cooking process. Once we finalize this uh, link forming, we can then proceed into either poaching or smoking or grilling, depending on the type of sausage that we are making.